seconds. Well, uh, okay, it is started now. So once again, I welcome you all for this six days workshop on research proposal writing. We all are here to understand how to write a research proposal and uh, how it can be presented in front of the committee, which is there for your PhD interview. And through that interview, you guys are going to get selected for research for upcoming three days. So your work will start, actual work will start when you get selected for uh, PhD programs. So this one is the first step to appear for the interview. I, uh, this is my personal experience, uh, <coughs> my dear friends. Most of the people, they clear, you know, set at net, set net, they clear paid examination, and they directly appear for the PhD interview. And when they appear for the interview, they face different problems because they are not having enough background of research. And when that committee is there to assess you, that committee is there to, you know, judge you, judge you on different parameters, definitely they apply those parameters at the time of interview. And on the basis of those parameters, they select you for PhD program. So what uh, I have also worked as, uh, you know, the uh, team members of uh, interview committee. And there I realized that most of the people, they directly come for the interview without preparation. Even they do not have, uh, they do not carry their title of research at the time of interview. And when you do not carry at least a title of research, definitely it creates bad impact in the mind of, uh, you know, interviewers. So this is what I'm trying to make an attempt to make aware about how to write a research proposal. And whenever you are there uh, with your uh, appropriate uh, research proposal in front of the committee, definitely committee will not have any option to deny you for the PhD program. And this is what I have decided to go for this kind of attempt. And uh, through this particular workshop, I have decided to teach you how to make a effective if, uh, research proposal uh, whenever you want to attend a PhD interview. So before starting my uh, session, let me share my PPT with you all. Uh, so you all are requested to tell me whether my PPT is uh, visible or not. If it is not visible, please tell me. Is it visible now? Yes, sir. Uh, before going to start my session, uh, I'm going to introduce myself, who I am, <clears throat> and for what I am here. So, uh, my name is Dr. Janardhan Pawar. Basically, I'm from Pune. I'm working in Baramati as head department of commerce, Thurudaram Chaturshan College, Baramati, and which is an autonomous institution we have autonomous status so when it comes to my uh, teaching experience i'm having total 18 years of experience in the field of academics i taught for different courses like commerce management even i taught for you know ca cs and uh, you know cma foundation courses even i taught for intermediate courses also i have completed my uh, mcom with gold medal I was the topper for MCOM when I was there in uh, MCOM. Apart from that, I have completed my MBA in marketing. Then I cleared NET examination, SET examination. Then I have done all those PG diplomas in management. After that, I did my uh, GDC and A. Even I have one bachelor degree that is uh, BEARD, Bachelor in Education. Then I did my PhD in finance from University of Pune. And I have also completed my company secretary course. So this is my uh, sort of qualification. And there is no, you know, uh, actually this qualification should not be told, uh, should not be informed to you guys because you guys are going to judge me on my knowledge that I'm sharing with you guys. So this is for my educational qualification. Apart from my work, I worked as assistant professor in Singhagad Institute for 10 years. And uh, from the last seven years, I'm working here in this uh, Trujan Chaturshan College as head department of commerce on grant table post. So this is my sort of experience. Apart from this, I worked with uh, a number of management colleges as visiting faculty. Even I worked as a visiting faculty for 
Seventh Day Adventist University, that is Spicer University, Pune. So this is my sort of experience, and that experience I'm going to share with you guys through this particular workshop, and definitely will be benefited uh, through this particular experience and um, you know uh, the sort of knowledge that I have gained during my short span of experience. So I hope you guys are you guys are going to cooperate me. You guys are going to interact with me during this particular span of six days. I hope you this particular workshop will be interactive workshop, and uh, it will be a fruitful for you guys. No doubt, you guys have been paid for this. You guys are expecting n number of things from me. Definitely, I'm also going to give you n number of things through the through this uh, workshop. And at the end of this workshop. it means on saturday you will be happy with my content you will be happy with my deliberations and all so once again i'm very much thankful for you guys for joining this and you guys have shown huge amount of trust on me and this is what you people have joined so i'm starting with my <clears throat> workshop today we have decided to go for and uh, as today is a day one today is the first day of our workshop five more days to go and uh, just a minute there is one call from our participant uh, i will attend this hi yeah. sir hello just just minute accept nahi hai mai bakto ek baar don't worry don't worry you're okay just a minute just a minute friends sir uh, hello Uh, sorry one of our friend uh, wanted to join and uh, he had some difficulties in joining process doesn't matter okay just yes, i think they have joined so as i'm doing uh, as i was telling about uh, uh hmm, the sort of experience that we are going to get in days to come that is in remaining five days so today as i have decided to go for uh, the first day and in first day we are talking about choosing and finalization of research topic my dear friends this is my own experience uh i am also a recognized phd guide of university of pune even i am also having the recognition as phd guide from jjt university uh, forget about that university for a while but i am a research guide or recognized research guide of university of pune that is savitribai phule university pune and uh, in two different subjects and those two different subjects are business administration and marketing so these are the two subjects under that i have um, Uh, they have been allotted me uh, students for these two different subjects also and the students are also uh, doing phd under my supervision so this is for a sort of experience that i am having but today we are talking about the first day and the topic that i have chosen for first day is choosing and finalization of a research topic so see uh, first of all i congratulate you all for clearing uh, pet examination those who have got uh, their net and seat those are exempted and they are directly entered for the interview process so i am also i also congratulate them for directly reaching for the interview but be, before that there is one step that you guys have to complete one thing that you guys have to complete before appearing for the interview and that is you have to make your research proposal and that is a little bit different task for you guys how it is different why i am calling it different because you do not have that much idea about how to write a research proposal i know that you are very eager to go for phd process you all are very interested to um, undertake a research and you are also interested to get that final degree that is philosophy in uh, sorry doctorate in philosophy in marathi we call it vidya vachas pati you all are eagerly waiting to get this degree but in between there is one also there is one obstacle for you guys and that obstacle is what you need to 
have one proper or appropriate and effective i'm asking i mean i'm using this word here effective why it is effective because your selection will be done on the basis of research proposal that you are making so this is the only obstacle in front of guys and uh, you gonna you know uh, you gonna remove that obstacle through this particular workshop and this is what this workshop is uh, designed so while designing this workshop there were a number of thoughts in my in my mind so what i thought if i want to give a basic idea i want to give a perfect idea to my participants about uh, research proposal writing so what matters what aspect should i consider so i thought it can be adjusted in six different ways and this is what i have made six parts of this workshop basically it can be done in one or two days also but i thought you know if i want to tell them appropriate idea so i have to uh, go for more days and this is what uh, i thought to go for six more days and this is what this course is designed for six days so uh, before starting my uh, uh, you know actual content i want to know your domain name domain subject because you know you all are going to <clears throat> uh, write your proposal so accordingly i have to uh, give some ideas because i know that uh, it was especially designed for social sciences it was designed for subjects of humanities like you know the subjects of arts commerce so this is what i wrote like that commerce management and economics all those subjects are considered as subjects of humanities so uh, apart from that i think there are two members those who have joined from uh, different domains and that is mca master of computer applications i think one or two people they have joined from mca so it is also a part of uh, it is also a part of uh, no doubt humanities so this is also useful for them so i request you all to write your domain in uh, chat box so that i can understand so uh, i request you all to do like this your name and domain please so write your name and domain in chat box uh, vijish sir has raised his hand sir uh, what's your query unmute yourself and ask me so before uh, i raise my hand not now okay 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 ma'am Uh, yes. So just I request you all to write your full name and uh, your domain. Yes, domain. Okay. Mostly they are from commerce and management. Some of them they are from economics, and uh, two or three people they are from MCA background. But I want to know them. Who are they? Exactly. Okay. this is from back uh, mc statistics okay pranay dr pranay is from statistic <laughs> niman sir you are from okay okay good okay so i understood one thing here uh, people are there from diverse background some of them they are from management some of them are from commerce some of them are from management i think sir is uh, pranay sir is from statistic and uh, two or three people they are from education background also so there is no need to worry on uh, the things the methodology that we follow for the purpose of research in all these subjects comes under the category of humanities only there are there is a small difference for mca that i will tell you doesn't matter but most of the things i think 95% things are applicable for mca also through this workshop so there is no need to worry there is no need to have different feelings for mca people doesn't matter okay so uh, i'm coming back to the presentation and i'm starting my contents today okay so here we are and uh, here i'm taking it on presentation mode so the, day one is for choosing and finalization of research topic so, uh, this is our first day first day stuff and we are dealing with this 
mostly as i told you uh, i am i'm having this experience also as i worked as a member of interview panel and a member of assessment committee also uh, and there i realized one thing most of the people they come for the interview without preparation as i mentioned earlier so what we think at the time of uh, interviewer when we conduct your interview or when we take your interview mostly people they come they are brilliant they cleared net they cleared said they cleared pet examination with very good marks but they uh, you know lag behind with research proposal and whenever they come for the interview they do not have idea, an idea about research proposal because they are the fresh suppose suddenly somebody has cleared um, master degree or uh, immediately at the same time uh, they cleared pet examination also so this kind of people no doubt they are brilliant no doubt uh, you know they are having enough knowledge of commerce field or management field or their respective field but they lag behind in research related knowledge because they do not have any idea how to perform research activities how to undertake research studies and this is what this workshop is mainly focused so what we feel no doubt candidate is very good no doubt the person who is appearing before the committee is very good only thing is that he is not having research related knowledge and at the time when we go for other candidates there are some with uh, enough knowledge of research so when we compare between person having knowledge of research and a person have uh, not having enough knowledge of research automatically we select a person who is having enough knowledge of research for the phd uh, program so this is what i thought why don't i give an appropriate idea about uh, writing a research proposal and this is what the first topic which we have chosen is choosing and finalization of the research topic so see uh, before going to start my second slide let me ask you one question what is research mostly we people are aware with the concept of research we want to pursue the research we want to undertake the research but some things which are not clear in our mind and this is what i'm asking one simple question i'm not going to teach you the research and all i'm not going to take theoretical lecture here and just i'm asking the concept that you know what is research according to you so please uh, you can unmute yourself and answer my question what is research come on can you hear me so please tell me what do you mean by research search means uh, re plus search means one uh, thing which we search again and we develop something from that correct so this is sanjay This yeah. is Sanjay. Yes, and I, yeah. I according to me, sir, is basically a very systematic and scientific, uh, some kind of you know investigation or diagnostic, where right. you can able to yeah, whether you can able to you know zero down to the problem and zero down to the sol respective solutions of it. Correct, sir. Sanjay, sir, fine answer you have given. You have given an appropriate answer, but the answer yes. given by the madam was also you know uh, nice and also appropriate. So see, uh, two answers we got. the first answer was research research means what search again already somebody has searched and now we are going to search again that is called as what research we are going to go for the same process again already somebody has done the research somebody has done the search and on that particular research or search we are going to uh, make something new we are going to find out something new that is called as what research correct answer given by the madam even sanjay sir has also given an appropriate answer for the research he said it is a systematic investigation here it sir has used and basically even most of the researcher also they used this word systematic investigation systematic means what there is one particular process we need to follow at the time of research and this is it is this is what it is called as systematic research one particular process is there there is one particular methodology is also there that we need to follow at the time of doing research and this is what it is called as research n number of things are that we are going to see one by one so this is for the concept of research so see uh, there is one small difference that we are going to understand through this workshop basically the research is done for two different streams 
the research done in the field of natural sciences is totally different than the research in the field of social sciences. Our subjects, whatever subjects we are here with us, whatever domains we have with us, those domains comes under the faculty of humanities or social sciences. But the research that we do in the field of natural sciences with subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, zoology, botany, etc. Those are the research can be called as natural sciences research. But whatever researches we are we all are doing, those are coming under the categories of human humanities, sorry, and social sciences. So we are having concern with researches in social sciences. This is what I told you. The researches that we do in the field of humanities or social sciences, those are totally different than the field of natural sciences. Remember, we are not going to do the research in the laboratories. We are not going to complete the research by sitting in the laboratories or doing some experiments. We are going to do our research by using different techniques which cannot be used in the field of natural sciences. This is what I wanted to tell you. Moving uh, here, I'm going to show you something. Uh, the thoughts of uh, most of the scientists or research scientists about research, what they talked about those things. So look at this. This is Neil Armstrong. What he said for the research, research is creating new knowledge. As uh, Sanjay sir and madam said, research is nothing but was searching for a new knowledge, searching for a new idea, searching for a new content which is not developed, not searched, not invented, not created before this, or be, uh, not invented, uh, created, or, uh, you know, uh, launched by anyone else. So research is what? Creating something new. And this one is the thought of uh, one of the great scientists, that is Neil um, Armstrong. Moving on to the second one, here, Albert Einstein is there. We knew that, we knew what it was we were doing, it not be called research, would it be? If we are not doing something new, we cannot call it a research or something new. So if we want to do something new, if we want to find out something new, it would be a research, according to the great scientist Albert Einstein. And moving on to the next one, and that is the last one. So here, uh, purposefully or uh, specifically, I have taken these thoughts from this kind of scientist, and they did a great job in the field of research and because of their research some things are you know comfortable for all of us some things are uh, we all are enjoying because of their you know dedication because of their research so here i am here for minzer if you steal some uh, sorry if you steal from one author it's plagiarism but if you steal from many it's research so this one is a uh, you know interesting uh, thought uh, given by minzer what Minzer said, remember, see, if we copy something from somebody's research, remember, if we copy something from somebody's research, it will be treated as, it will be considered as plagiarism. And uh, if you are going to undertake a research in best to come, there is one test at the time of submission of your final thesis, and that test is called about plagiarism. So they will check how much portion of your uh, research thesis is copied from other sources. So this one is a you know, very uh, nice idea. Even all universities have adopted. They will go for your plagiarism test. And uh, this percentage should not be more than 10%. If it is more than 10%, they won't allow you, allow you, you to submit your thesis. Or they will reject your thesis in that case. So this is what this Minder uh, said very uh, nicely and very rightly. If you steal from one author, it will be treated as plagiarism. But if you steal from many authors at a time, and if you try to get their idea what they want to say, and if you convey that the convey those ideas in your own words, it becomes your research. So very interesting sentence. I like this sentence too much, and this is what I have taken here. So you also remember because you all are going to complete your research in days to come and the plagiarism test is also applicable for you all. So remember this, do not copy from someone's thesis and uh, indirectly I'm asking, I'm, uh, I'm telling you, copy, from, copy it from so many thesis and try to write in your own words. If you write in your own words, own words it will not be treated as copy. So this is for just thoughts about research given by different scientists.
now coming back to the concept of research i'm giving the just an idea about the concept of research in two minutes only after that i'm going to see i'm going to tell you uh, how to choose the topic and all so just here i have taken the concept of research already we guys have seen and uh, even definition also we guys have seen there is no need to repeat this and uh, what we do in research research is the process of systematic inquiry as uh, sanjay sir said that includes collection of data documentation of uh, critical information and analysis and interpretation of that data information in accordance with, accordance with uh, suitable methodologies said by specific professional twins and academic disciplines so here uh, what we can understand about research research is the process systematic process where inquiries are conducted data is collected data is analyzed and uh, even uh, we call it uh, interpretation is also taken place and after that uh, we can have uh, findings and suggestions also so this is the sort of uh, general meaning of research is given just i wanted to make it uh, make you all aware about the concept of research actually i am not here to teach you the theoretical aspects of research and uh, after that i have given the definition of research also you get n number of definitions uh, on internet there is no need to teach you the definition so moving on to the next one yes why phd most of the people they want to go for phd even those who are here in this workshop they also want to go for phd but what are the reasons behind going for the phd that is very much important uh, I, i appreciate your interest in showing in uh, showing in undertaking a research most of the people they go for the phd and they want to pursue the phd there are n number of reasons behind doing the phd so some of them they have sorted down and uh, we are going to discuss that i think if you want to check your reason you can you may check you may get your reason here and uh, apart from that you have you may have another reasons to undertake a research or undertake a phd program so some of them i have sorted down and those are passionate about research there are some people they are very passionate about research why they are passionate about research because they want to do something different they want to make a difference they want to create something new and this is what we all are enjoying enjoying in number of things because of the passion passions those uh, our scientists they had those days see uh, we always give the example of newton we always give the example of einstein we always give the example of n number of scientists and even uh, there are some people they are totally dedicated they are, they are totally devoted for the research and they get uh, nobel prize and all but as i told you there is a difference between social sciences research and the natural sciences research so uh, they are passionate they want to give something new they are not uh, interested in physical things they are not interested in money they are not interested in property but they want to do something to the society and this is what uh, they undertake a research without having any sort of expectation and this is what they go for the uh, you know research so people are passionate even uh, i observe one thing while teaching uh, to different classes even as i uh, told you i taught for uh, pro post graduate programs also there i saw some people uh, some students some um, a student of our classes they are interested in research they always ask some questions about uh, sir i want to go for this kind of research i want to go for this kind of you know subject this is my interesting subject this is my interesting area and all so there i real there i realize one thing today generation is also very interested in conducting research they want to know something from the society see uh, in the field of management in the field of commerce in the field of education all fields research is the main aspect i think you guys have observed one thing those who are working in corporate sector i think sanjay sir is also working in corporate sector so n number of people they are working in corporate sector see uh, nowadays in every company or in every corporate sector there is one particular department they have specifically made which is called as r and d research and development so now this particular department has gained a huge importance and now there is a scope for you know these the people to do n number of things so people are passionate about research and they conduct the research this one is the main reason i i think so and this is what people are coming for phd's then second reason when it uh, those that particular reason comes to our community our fraternity that is academic requirement so more, more, what happens you know 
those who are in academic field like uh, professor assistant professor associate professors for them uh, it is an academic requirement because as we know that uh, phd is the highest and topmost degree in academics and uh, mostly now ugc also they have changed their regulations and they have changed their guidelines and they have made uh, this phd mandatory even uh, you also know that uh, from this particular year only 2021 if you want to get a job in university as assistant professor uh, phd is must and most of the people they do not have phd and they want to work in universities so phd is must if you want to work in universities after few years they will make compulsory if you want to work as an assistant professor in colleges also there is no issue because day by day they are increasing their standards and uh, if it is a top most degree in academics then they will make it mandatory even for teachers promotions also the teachers means those who are working in colleges and uh, universities for that sort of promotion also this phd is must and this is what most of the people they are going for uh, phd programs and they want to undertake a research reasons are different but target is same that is phd then topmost degree in academics most most of the people uh, they are not in corporate they are not in academics but they have a strong desire to get this degree because as i told you it is a topmost degree in academics once you complete this doctorate people will start asking you or start saying you doctor those you are not uh, those you are not a uh, you know medical doctor you are not in medicine but still people they call you doctor and when somebody calls you a doctor definitely um, you get a you know that much appreciated you feel uh, you get that sort of respect from others and this is what most of the people even i have seen that uh, most of the retired people most of the senior citizens they have also um, entered in the field of uh, uh, research and uh, as uh, you were not aware with this fact Uh, if you are a senior citizen uh, and if you want to undertake a research if you want to join a phd program there is no uh, test as such to pass there is no interview as such to clear directly you can get an admission for phd program this one is the new clause inserted by sppu pune for phd admissions if you are a senior citizen but i'm not asking you to wait till that particular date or that particular day so it is a top post degree and people are is people they are having a craze in the mind about this particular degree and this what they also go for phd programs that is one of the reason then required for promotion as i told you uh, in this particular field of uh, uh, professor uh, in lectureship there are promotions and your promotions are based on the certain achievements and uh, this is what phd is must then some people are very much interested to write a doctor before their name like dr janardan pawar and dr satya or like that so when we write something like that automatically we feel proud our family feel proud so this is what they also want to go for and some of them they just want to write doctor though they are not doctor from medicine but they are from literature hum isko kabhi kabhi mazak se bol dete hain malam ke doctor hain malam ke doctor nahi other kalam ke doctor like that so similarly uh, people are just interested to get this particular degree and they want to write doctor before their name so this is what people are going for phd then uh, to create new knowledge and ideas as uh, most of the scientists most of the people even at the beginning only when this question was asked to you guys then there only we understood that uh, if we want to create something new from the old one see uh, we are not going to create something new means new we have a base of old knowledge knowledge is there research already somebody has searched now we are going to search on that particular data it becomes we are going to create some new knowledge and ideas from the old one and if you want to go for that most of the people they are going for such kind of phds and in that category you all are there because you all are in that particular category of the new generation as i told you as i told you earlier most of the young generation is interested to create something new they want to show how we are different from others and uh, i one thing i observed while teaching into the classes that this young generation is very much ambitious very much ambitious i observe one thing when i used to look at my teachers in my college they at the time of retirement also they didn't have their phd 
but now then what happened a people a person who completes his masters immediately start thinking about phd most of the people even uh, when i conduct the farewell party for my master programs uh, when i ask them what do you want to do in future so most of the people they say sir we want to go for phd we want to go for mphil now mphil is no more so forget about mphil now so they used to say like that now people are saying like that it means we can understand how ambitious they are about their career means what i have seen so many people at the age of 25 or at the age of 26 means people get master degree at the age of 23 or 22 and after 3 years this one is the actual duration of completion of phd they get their doctorates in 25 or 26 and uh, one more thing that i observed people are interested to complete their doc- doctorates from outside the india they want to go for phd's in abroad so who ambitious they are so this is what uh, this one is one of the reason of doing phd and the last one is societal use see uh, no doubt we do phd's for our academic requirements most of the teachers they are doing phd for their promotions they want to go for you know professor associate professor professor they want to become principals oh my god so yella na okay i think the presentation is there not there na? hello no 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 not there no no okay uh, i think it is disconnected don't worry just a minute this is what uh, you know i always look at the tab uh, okay i was here now it's it is uh, visible yes okay so the last one is very important societal use mostly what happens you know whatever research we all are doing that is not that much useful for the society and the main aspect and the main reason of research and the main you know uh, important aspect which is related with the uh, phd is what or research is what it should be useful for the society whatever research you are doing forget about your academic requirement forget about your promotions forget about your you know um, writing doctor before your name all those things are not important whatever research you are doing that research should be useful should be useful for the society and this is what societal use the important aspect of research and if you look at our scientists those who have who have who have given important things to this world if you take an example of uh, newton if you take an example of einstein if you take an example of n number of scientists scientists they have been and their inventions just imagine if they and didn't have anything else with uh, research what will happen what would have happened nothing we uh, you know we should say thanks to all those scientists who have invented a number of things for our life and their inventions has made sorry inventions made our life very comfortable and this is what and this is called as societal use remember so whatever phd whatever research you all are doing that should be useful for the society this one is the most important aspect of your research and because of these reasons i think so because of all these reasons phd peers people go for the phd i think you all are also agree with my statement which i have made just now and this is expected so these are the reasons we had doing the phd now just look at this i'm coming to the point i'm coming to the point and here we are going to talk about uh, research scholars means you all choose their research topics how they choose how they choose their research topic now you are all are also having the same thoughts in the mind generally a research scholar choose their research topics by considering these points most of the time what happens uh, just now i told that most of the refreshers they complete their masters and they think st- uh, they start thinking about phd's so how the thought of phd how the thought of research uh, you know uh, Uh, research comes in the mind of those freshers, and how they select their topic. Mostly, what happen as I told you, uh, we do not go for our own thoughts, and we commit a mistake. 
so what should be done and what should not be done at the time of choosing a topic that is my intention to tell you so here basically this is my general observation as i told you i have worked at different levels so i have come across with n number of things of the attitudes and the behavior of the new researchers so what how they select the topic and how they select uh, means how the thought is there in the mind of those researchers that i'm telling you so see when i ask them how the topic is selected sometimes i ask, ask i ask one question who has given you this topic how the topic is there in your mind so what they answer or how they answer those answers are here with me so mostly what happened they select their topic because of these reasons so um, see uh, most of the time what happened somebody suggest then uh, we uh, we follow someone as a mentor someone as a role model and we listen to them so n number of reasons and these are the facts of today's generation and they select the topic no doubt i'm not asking you to do not uh, take your parents suggestion do not take uh, your friend suggestion do not take your teacher suggestions no doubt take your suggestions take suggestions from n number of sources but at the same time i'm going to tell you how the topic can be chosen for this research so this is my general observation people select their topic by considering these points so see uh, suddenly uh, suppose after completing my masters suddenly i thought i should go for uh, research i should go for phd so there is one sudden thought in my mind there is one sudden thought about the topic there is one sudden thought about the area of interest there is one sudden thought about the particular topic for example suddenly i thought i have i have to go for hr i have to go for marketing i have to go for finance i have to go for accounting so this kind of suddenly thought sudden thought is there in my mind and uh, i have decided to go for this so this is not going to happen this is not a right way to choose the topic so what is a right way to choose the topic that i'm going to tell you in next slide then uh, sometimes what happen you know uh, mostly it happens with the or the so see uh, they complete their uh, masters and uh, there is a question in the mind of uh, girl what to do in, um, uh, do for upcoming years or what so they start thinking about phd so their parent uh, you know they suggest uh, instead of sitting at home you do you go for phd and uh, because of parents that particular girl will go for the phd to see no doubt parents they always think positive they always think better than others but see you are going to complete your research you are going to complete your phd parent or your parents are not going to complete your phd remember then friend suggestions we get suggestions from friends and they also suggest no doubt friends are always friend and uh, they think positive they think better than others no doubt but you guys are going to complete the research so the things which are there which are hidden things in the process of research that you only know that they just suggest you they just recommend you and uh, we uh, you know go for the research that is also not okay then teachers recommendations sometimes you know we are very close to one or two teachers so they uh, see that you are very good in economics you are very good in maths and all so they suggest you to go for phd and they ask you to go for phd in this particular subject they say like that aap isme phd karo bas mujhe lagta hai ki aap isme kar sakte ho so no doubt they know your potential and all but at the same time you know your potential better than better than others no doubt uh, giving a suggestion giving a recommendation is very easy but you guys have to actually work in the field or actually you people have to work on that particular platform and this is what um, your opinion is always your opinion then someone's experience see what happens around uh, in your family or uh, uh, from your friends or from your relative someone has already done um, the phd and that particular person will tell you okay i have done phd in finance now you go for marketing because in finance uh, on data is not available something like that he will tell you some n number of reasons and uh, he or she will ask you to go for n this particular field which is not good see what to be done that i will discuss you then without knowing the facts mostly uh, this is the fact 
which I have observed while conducting the interview of PhD students. So what happens, you know, they select the topic without knowing the facts. Most of the time, they select a topic, they search on internet, they try to search it on Google Guru, and uh, they try to find out like this, uh, recent topics for PhD in the field of marketing, recent topics for PhD in the field of commerce and management in education, and uh, whatever data is filled by we people on Google, automatically some results are there, and from those results we get one line, and we make that line as our topic. So this is not a way of selecting the topic for research. And the last uh, that I have written in red, and that is actually Hindi word, in Josh. Kuch hum hum Josh mein kar Bas. Chalo, char log PhD kar rahe to hum, 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 hum PhD karna. We also want to go for the PhD. So, what happens, you know, sometimes in Josh, hum apne hosh ko bete. And this is a very bad thing for research, remember. Kya hota? There are a number of drawbacks of doing PhD in Josh. What are they? Most of the time, we do not know the facts. If, uh, see, for example, there are five friends. There is one group of five friends. And out of those uh, five, four are going for marketing. Again, I'm also going for marketing. And this is not this is not a big. And uh, suppose all are uh, doing PhD. This is what I'm doing PhD in Josh. This is not expected. This is not accepted also. So do not select your topic in Josh. Because see, what, what happened? I have seen a number of examples with me. People, they have selected their topics in Josh or in enthusiasm instead of using this word Josh here because it's a Hindi word. So I can say people, those who have selected their topic in enthusiasm or that uh, you know craze of doing research, mostly they are failed in completing the research. I have a number of examples. I think two, three examples I have, I'm having with me. They took 10 years or more than 10 years to complete the research, but still they did not complete the research because the topic that they have uh, chosen for or they had chosen for the for the phd was not that much appropriate uh, even they didn't think about the topic at the time of selecting the topic and this is what they got the failure this is my observation most of the people they select the topic but they don't complete they uh, will not be able to complete the topic because of one reason and that reason is what they don't get proper data for the research because the topic is not topic was not appropriate so these are the reasons and we generally follow these things while selecting the topic and this is not expected if i'm not wrong you are also agree you will also agree with me yahi karte hai na koi to bolta hai suddenly mere dimag mein thought aata hai parents bolte hain friends bolte hain teachers bolte hain koi kisi ko to phd hua hota hai and without knowing the facts also we go for or finally uh, suppose i'm very brilliant Suppose I have secured 90% marks and you know masters. So what I feel now for me everything is okay. Whatever I do, I get a success in that. And in that particular enthusiasm, I get I select a topic, and when I actually start working on it, I won't get a success. I won't get the data. I won't get proper responses from my respondent. And there I lag behind. And after a few years, I get nervousness. I get frustrated because I'm not getting the data, and I stop my uh, research work so this is the end result and we want to avoid this and this is what this workshop is meant for so generally this is a practice of researcher i'm using this word new researcher for selecting their cho topic or choosing their topic but this is not expected what is the right uh, see this picture this picture talks a lot just look at the picture Choosing and finalization of research topic. What happened? The more I think, the more confused I get. So this is a situation of you guys right now. You want to go for a research. You want to say, uh, choose a topic for research. But how to choose a topic is the concept. You people have gone through n number of things. You people have gone through n number of contents which are available on internet, which are available with you guys. And now you're confused what to do now. And this workshop is a solution for this, it doesn't matter, remember. Okay, so this one is an appropriate way of choosing a research for the research topic for the study. Remember, I'm going to tell you how the topic can be chosen for your study. There is one particular logic behind choosing the topic. So what is the topic? 
develop a topic that will hold your interest see always man ki suno man ki baat man ka suno what others are suggesting what others are recommending forget about that whatever your inner instinct says that go for that suppose i am very much interested to do phd in marketing because i like marketing too much for example and my 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 phd is not in marketing sorry otherwise you will say like that sir i done phd in marketing it to it is in finance to so see if i wanted to go for marketing and somebody suggesting finance somebody suggesting education somebody suggesting for example you know management forget about that if i want if i have a strong desire to go for marketing go for marketing then so see develop your idea in marketing field also there are n number of micro micro uh, you know uh, levels micro micro things and on those things phd can be completed topics can be chosen so just think about your own interest this is the most important aspect remember and if you uh, go for your interest automatically you get some topic so see how to get a topic also i'm going to tell you so this one is a thing Uh, uh just stick with your interest do not listen others just listen them and you decide what should be kept with you and what should be avoided that you people have to decide then read everything you can on the subject see once you have decided to go for the subject of marketing then start uh, uh just a minute power sir zara yeah uh so see when you start come come first Hello. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Read everything you can on the subject. Then you start reading. See, selecting or choosing a topic is not a task of one or two days. Remember, and you guys are having enough time to decide it. Uh, just recently, this result of PET examination is uh, declared. It will take almost. Remember one thing. This is my statement. You will uh, realize this later on. It will take one. or more than one month to have your interview remember your interview will be conducted after one month so my suggestion is that whatever is your interested area that you thought at this particular point or time time just start reading new things that you want to go for just search somewhere you can search it on google you can search that particular things you can search for books also journals also magazines also so you may get some knowledge and your concepts will be clear this is what start reading about your interested area then find a theoretical basis to support your topic as i told you when you start reading you get a theoretical base you visit some libraries if possible visit some libraries if possible if it is not possible there is no to visit libraries nowadays all books are available in a digital form or internet so go for some um, you know interesting uh, books or renowned books of renowned authors suppose you are thinking about marketing so just go through the books of philip kotler you'll get n number of topics or just sit for one hour alone in one particular room just think about your topic and the current scenario and the current scenario automatically topics will starts coming in your mind note down in rough we will make it fine so see start going uh, start finding a theoretical basis to support your topic see once suppose you if you sit for half an hour for thinking a topic automatically you get some topic remember i will construct a line for your topic doesn't matter but there should be a theme there should be a proper word which can be utilized as a base to select, choose your topic or to construct a topic for your phd then consult your mentor see i'm i'm using this word mentor mentor means what to whom you, whoever or uh, so to whom you are saying this is my role model this is my expert this is my you know mentor this is my uh, guru or like that so consult but consult with your mentor with your idea do not uh, consult your mentor without having any idea otherwise mentor will impose you his idea for your peers 
so whenever you want to visit whenever you want to take experts opinion if you want to take your mentor's opinion go to mentor with your idea go to expert with your idea and ask his suggestion on your idea okay this way you can uh, you know cons you can consult with your mentor so before visiting mentor before going to mentor just make your idea very clear in your mind see for example uh, if we are going for uh, marketing for example again i'm taking the example of marketing if we are going for marketing we should uh, have one concept of marketing latest concept for example you know online marketing and this and in this pandemic online marketing has created uh, a milestone that we know very well so there are different aspects there are small small aspects of online marketing and we can take those small small aspects also as a topic of research we guys have observed the importance of online marketing in this today's scenario as we know that we are uh, sitting at home from last one and a half years and uh, we can see the role played by online marketing so if you take one small bit small point of online marketing and visit your mentor and if you uh, when the, uh, when you visit mentor and if you have a brainstorming session with your mentor automatically the title will come out if not i will give you don't worry so this is a way to find out a research topic then tap into your peers peers sorry see uh, we have a group we always have a group we have a, a group of friends we have a group of colleagues we have a group of professionals and all so just uh, whatever idea which is there in your mind just put that particular idea in the peers definitely they will also suggest you so see um, what happens sometimes so whatever they suggest you whether to take all those things or not that is up to you if somebody says negative about your idea about uh, your you know topic forget about that if four of them they are if four of them talking positive about your idea you will get some another input to pursue the research so whatever topic you have sir i yeah i just wanted to contribute here yes. and this is very important because i have done some small research yeah on how to find out the uh, uh, correct uh, research and which will be appropriate and which will, which will be very contemporary so what yeah. i have done is i have taken the times of india newspaper last 10 15 days correct correct, correct. and i am telling you sir you will get lot of idea with a lot of correct. studies because these journalists uh, are doing lot of studies in the field of various field correct. this will be contemporary and useful for the nation useful for the youth correct i am coming to you i am coming to that point sir i am coming to that point see even those who are interested to complete their research in the field of economics and finance and banking just go through the times uh, economic times you get n number of topics there or just look around us just look around us those who are from commerce and management basically and education uh, i think nowadays uh, yeah, here with us there are some two three people they are from education just look around us now schools and colleges are stopped from this also we can get some n number of topics and those who are interested to do their phd from economics and finance and banking just go through the e economic times for for a day only for a day you get n number of topics topics are hidden just you guys have to you know extract them from the newspaper from the news correct so thank you very much for your contribution then uh, take advantage of resources available now does we have n number of resources with us n number of resources i'm giving one uh, trial example at the end how to find out a uh, uh, appropriate title remember we have n number of available resources with us just think about uh, you know 10 or 20 years back those days those kind of these kind of resources were not available and it was very much difficult to find out um, the appropriate name for the uh, phd topic and there was a you know fear in the mind of researchers if i take a, this if i take this particular topic i uh, will not be, uh, if it is you know duplicate then what will happen so see it is very simple for you all to find out the data to find out the you know title because n number of resources are available with us if you look at the today's resources everything is in digital form everything is in digital form just you people have to click on a certain link you will get n number of things and this is what uh, whatever topics we want to choose just use those available resources take the advantage of advantage of all those resources definitely you will get something then think about your work as a part of an international dialogue 
for example, uh, so somebody is doing PhD, somebody is doing job in foreign country, you can also have internet uh, dialogue with him or her. You may get some different points because whatever things we observed in India will not be there in other countries. So when you make some dialogues with this kind of people, automatically you get some sort of contribution or some sort of addition or some sort of input for your idea. So try to make dialogue. Whatever thoughts which are there in your mind, try to uh, interact with others with those dialogues. Automatically you get a number of things from others. So this is a way. Then only ask questions that can be answered. See, here you should be very much uh, realistic. Try to ask those questions where answers are there. And if you are asking, uh, you know, uh, unrealistic questions, there is then there is there are no answers as such. So try to answer. Ask, try to ask some questions for that answers are there. And uh, when you ask some questions, automatically you get some answers from others. Suppose you are asking questions to your mentor, automatically you get some answers which are useful. So these are the things which we follow. Then build a good committee. So remember. Uh, this one is, question, hello. sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Uh, how to check that uh, your topic is not actually a duplicate uh, or yes, maybe a repetitive yes, topic? I'm, I'm coming to this. Very soon you can see this, sir. I'm oh. having one demo for this, sir. And okay. uh, you can find out whether it is an uh, actual topic or duplicate topic, sir. I'm going to show you how it can be, you know, uh, verified. So, okay. okay. Thanks for the good question. If I don't remember, please uh, recall me for this or please remind me for this. See, uh, then uh, this is my request for you all. Whatever group we guys have created, this group is not there for this workshop. Remember, this group will be there forever. Now you all are in the process of making your proposal. So make a team of you guys. So whatever thoughts which are there in the mind sorry, of you guys right now, so make a team. For example, uh, you all are from commerce, uh, management, then uh, sir is, one sir is there from statistics, and then some of them they are from education, some of them they are from MCA. So make your own team and discuss your thoughts. Sir, I'm planning for this subject, I'm planning for this subject. So automatically you get something. Put your subject, put your proposal in front of others and let take their comments. See, what happens when I write my proposal, I always feel that this is the ultimate proposal that I have made. But when, when someone will go through your proposal, they will find out some mistakes, they will find out some errors from your proposal. So make a committee, good committee, and ask them to give their opinions honestly. And if they give their opinions honestly, your uh, proposal will be perfect. Perfect. I'm using this word perfect. But there should be a committee. And this is what I'm asking you guys to make your groups according to your domain and uh, you can also discuss with your committee members or uh, your team members this is my plan this is my you know even tomorrow onwards we are going to talk about objectives hypothesis and all you can share everything and then only you can make it you know perfect and ultimate proposal then find available data whatever data is available see the main and important aspect in the process of phd is what's data this is what i said people they select, they choose the topic in Joe's in enthusiasm, but later on they won't find a data for research. topic to data totally frustrated and all. So see, find available data before going for a topic. Remember, this is my uh, underlined statement for you all. See, what is that statement? Before going for a topic before choosing and finalizing your topic just see whether the data is available or not if you select your topic which will not have a proper enough available data don't choose it it will make you frustrated in future as a topic nahi lena hai jo hame frustrate karega agar humne josh mein ek aur dusra aisa topic le liya jo ki hame data nahi mil raha hai kuch din ke baad hame phd chhodna padega remember and we cannot change the topic once it is approved. If the topic is approved, we can topic change the topic. We can leave the topic. So, yeah, I, I suggest you, if you are taking 10 days to choosing or selecting a topic, take 20 days. If you want to take 10 days, then you can take 20 days. Take 20 days to select your topic or choose your appropriate topic. But 
select a topic which is having enough available data to complete it if data is not available then there is no use of that topic remember hame usko chhodna hi padega again you have to go through the same process pet exam interview sorry pet exam then powers class then interview again the same process will be followed and i don't want to see you ki mujhe koi bhi aisa job ke group mein aisa nahi dikhna chahiye ki sir maine chhod diya data nahi mila i have seen n number of examples people get frustrated because of non availability of data and they leave the topic and then say uh, they say goodbye to psd and uh, i don't want to see all, all of you doing this then study your passion as i told you people are passionate about research so whatever is your passion go for that so before going for passion what is your passion try to understand what is your potential about that passion try to understand that understand your potential understand your comfort level comfort zone if it is for example one one topic is not suitable if one topic in one topic you are not comfortable go don't go for that no so wherever you feel i'm comfortable go for that suppose i'm not feel comfortable with marketing suppose there is one lady who is having you know n number of responsibilities and all so uh, that lady is not suitable for marketing for example if she feels that so why she should uh, get in marketing so whatever is your passion before deciding your passion understand your potential so for that you have to go for that sort analysis as the wot strength weaknesses opportunities and threats and then only you can uh, see your potential so study your passion which is very important uh, then i think this one is the last slide so okay appropriate way of choosing a research topic for study again here or fine tune uh, your topic uh, based on input from others sometimes uh, you may get some input from others so think about those aspects also and that is called as in terms of research we call it respondents so see once the topic is selected uh, we have to collect information from our respondents so you should have fine tunes with your respondents remember suppose your topic is like this what is your topic uh, marketing strategies of banks for example so you have to collect some data from bank employees whether they are from you know private banks or public banks doesn't matter but there should be a fine tune with those employees then only you will get some data no if you are collecting primary data if you are collecting secondary data then you should have fine tune with them then only you know it is useful for you guys to uh, go for further process then let yourself shift gears then once you feel that you know uh, now everything is okay most of the particular or important knowledge i have gained and i can go for the topic then start writing your proposal in rough then start then look for a niche in which you can make a difference always think about this always go for such kind of things where you can make a difference uh, this is what this one is the last sentence and try to be a unique if you look at the picture you can also see pictures are also selected Uh, by considering n number of things so see uh, we try to when we can make a difference when we try to do something new we try to do something unique and if you want to make unique you should be a little bit different you should come out of the group and then only you can make something different you can make something unique and this is what uh, you need to take efforts accordingly so this is for the uh, tips this is the tips or uh, these are the tips for selecting an appropriate research topic for the study no doubt still there are a number of questions in the mind of you guys hello 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 yes yes sir for yes sir okay okay sir oh okay sir just a minute yeah for one minute okay here here we are no I think here it is stopped, right? Yeah. Hello. Here yes, is. sir. Okay. So now, um, if you want to make a difference, there should be a unique topic, and uh, still there are some questions in the mind of you guys, no doubt. But uh, I'm going to clear those doubts anyhow. No issue. Just wait. Okay. So once you guys have decided to go for it. try to go for it and uh, try to make a difference by doing your research this is the only message that i wanted to give you 
and uh, whatever uh, steps, whatever things we have seen, those can be called as appropriate ways of choosing a research topic for the study. Uh, I know that there are other some questions in the mind of you guys, but uh, I'll, all those questions will be answered. Before that, let me give you something different again. So see, uh, this is I remember the statement. Uh, I remember Shukira here, and Shukira said like this. I quote this: uh, "Winners don't do different things; they do things differently." And you want to be there. I want to see all of you as winners in PhD interview. So this one is just a motivating thought for you all. Now moving on to the next one. Before, uh, when you, whenever you, you want to go for choosing a topic for research, most important thing that you have to remember: be realistic. Do not go for unrealistic topic, unrealistic type of study. Always remember that we all are doing research in social sciences, not in natural sciences. So remember. Our limitations, uh, uh, limitations of our subject, and accordingly select the topic. This is the message that I wanted to give you. There. Okay. How to finalize your research topic title? Now, people, sir, asked one question: How to find out whether my topic is duplicate or not, or original? So, see, there are certain sources which are available. Uh, to avoid duplication of research topic and to finalize the title of research topic. So see, what are those sources? See, uh, no doubt there is one thought in my mind and I, I, I converted that thought into the topic. This is the situation, for example. But I have one fear in my mind. Whatever topic I'm about to final or I'm here about to final is duplicate or not, how it can be verified how it can be checked, how it can be identified. So there are certain ways to find out. There is no issue. This is not a big task. It's a very small task. So what is that? Sources available to avoid duplication. Suppose I have topic. Suppose I have decided one topic. I check that topic Suppose somebody has already done a research on this topic or not. I have to find out. It's very simple. Now it is, it is very simple. It was very difficult uh, before 20 years or 10 or 15 years. But now it is very simple. By on one click, you can easily identify this. So what are the sources? The sources are reputed knowledge resource centers. This one is a new name of libraries in terms of UGC. See, reputed knowledge resource centers, that is academic libraries where theses are kept, dissertations are kept. From those things, you can also understand. Then, research work done by earlier researchers. See, in every library, there are theses kept by the librarian of earlier researchers. You can check their titles and you can make your title final. Okay. So, uh, then, research papers published in reputed international and national journals. See, in the field of academics, they, uh, there are a number of research journals. Those are approved journals, those are UGC approved journals. Nowadays, there is one concept which is very popular that is care listed journals. So, in that, uh, in those journals, there are the titles of topics also, which are already done by the researchers. From that, also, we can understand whether my topic is duplicate or not. And the last one proceedings of research related conferences. So, see, uh, when we conduct uh, research related conferences, uh, we uh, go for publication of proceedings. So in that proceedings, we write a number of titles of research papers. So from that also, we can understand whether the topic is uh, duplicate or not. So these are the ways to find out. But how it can be uh, done, that I will tell you. So see, reputed, uh, just visit your library. For example, if you are doing your PhD from University of Pune or any other university, just go to the university library. That is called as Knowledge Research Center. And just ask that particular librarian, I want to verify the titles of research, research done by the earlier researchers as I want to undertake the research. So he will give you the list. He will ask you to visit the particular section where theses are kept. So from those particular sections, you can understand. So this is what this kind of work can be done. Then uh, sources available to avoid duplication of uh, 
duplication of research topic and to finalize the title of research topic. So there is one more way to find out. You can find out uh, it by going through the research work done by the PhD holders. And you can, you know, uh, do it by yourself, by sitting at home also. Ask your friends. You can uh, see your library also, college library also. You can visit n number of libraries also to find out this. And this way you can find out whether the topic is, topic is original or not. Then, uh, as I told you, there are different types of research journals. For example, I have taken here. Go through those examples, uh, those, those uh, research journals, reputed research journals, and uh, try to find out this. So see, uh, and uh, even the proceedings of research related conference, those are also important to find out whether your topic is original or not. But uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, go to these three, uh, first one, reputed knowledge resource center, that is libraries, work done by earlier researcher, then research paper publications, if you want to verify this, if you want to identify this, if you want to check it out, this, it will take huge time. Because physically you have to visit a library, for example, if you are in, uh, if you are doing your PhD from University of Pune, and then if you, want to want, if you want to find out whether it is original or not, then you have to visit Jaker Library in University of Pune, and you have to find out whether it is original or duplicate. And it will take huge amount of time. It, will time. it is time consuming. So what can be done? If you go for research work, again it will take some time. Then if you want to find out find out it from international and national journal, again it is time consuming because you have to find out it uh, by visiting that particular library and all. So it is a little bit, uh, you know, what we call it, time consuming. And uh, as we do not have enough time, as we are working somewhere, as we have some family responsibilities and all. So in that case, this is not possible. This is what uh, I have, you know, I'm having one more option to avoid your, you know, uh, to save your time. Sorry, to save your time. So this is what uh, this is a wider source available to avoid duplication of research topic and to finalize the title of research topic. So see, uh, there is one magazine published by UGC New Delhi every after a uh, fortnightly. This from another uh, inkibad bolte. So her pandarin ke baad university of sorry UGC University Grant Commission a magazine published that time. In that magazine, they publish the list of PhD awardees with their topics according to their subjects. For example, management, for example, commerce. So whatever PhD degrees are awarded during those span of 15 days, they will write their names with subject and with title of PhD. So this is the best way to find out. So just visit your library, college library also. In college library, this magazine is available. And that magazine is called as what? Here, yeah, see. That magazine is called as University News. There is one magazine which is called as University News. And I think if you go through the last pages of this University magazine, you may find some subject-wise title of PhDs awarded. For example, if you take an example of uh, commerce, so they write commerce, and uh, under the title of commerce, for example, during the span of those 15 days, if 15 PhDs are awarded, so they write 15 titles of uh, PhDs along with the name of research. Remember, suppose I have done my PhD in the uh, finance, so under the subject of finance, they write my name, first means my name, that is Dr. Ganavan Pawar, and they write the title of my research. And this is the best way to find out whatever things you have done. Remember, so through if you go through the last two, three years title, last two, three years title by referring, you know, uh, 10 or 15 um, you know, news, you may understand your topic is original or not. So this is one way, and this one is a wider way. But unfortunately, the soft copy or the digital copy of this is not available. You have to visit library. You have to check physical copy of industry news, and then only it is possible. Okay, if you want to avoid visiting library and uh, referring this university news, there is one more option, and that I'm, I'm going to tell you. See, so look at this, and this is the best way to find out duplication, and this is the most uh, preferred, most like way of finding duplication. 
So see, this is Shodhaganga. Shodhaganga dot dot ac dot in. This is a website which is created by UGC, and uh, UGC has made mandatory for all the universities of India. Remember this word of India to upload their published theses on this Shodhaganga. By visiting this Shodhaganga website, you may find out whether your topic is original or not. And here it is very simple. Whatever is your domain, just search according to your domain and see whatever the topic you are thinking thinking is uh, duplicate or not, or whether it is original or not. So just go to this. I'm showing you one demo. Click on this. It will take. It uh, takes you to the website. Just look at this. Okay, this one is the official website of Shodhanga. Here you can see. This one is the home page. Just look at the C. Here they have given a list of universities who have been uploaded their theses. C. And here in green, they have given the number of theses they have uploaded. And these theses are uploaded according to the subject. C. For example, University of Madras, 12,772 theses are uploaded by University of Madras. If you, when it comes to Sakhtri Bai Pune, Pune University Pune, 11,104 theses. Sabitri Bhai Pule University has uploaded on this Shodhgan. If you want to find out your, whether your topic is original or not, just go to University of Pune. For example, Then go to commerce, for example, whatever is domain, your domain is given here, commerce, management, social sciences, education, economics. See, domains wise, they have uploaded. For example, commerce, in commerce, 417 theses they have uploaded. So, I think there are some issues with the website, doesn't matter. So, see, this way you can find out. There is one word also. For example, in commerce, if you want to go for banking, just write keyword banking. If you want to go for marketing, just write your keyword marketing. You get n number of theses published by University of Pune so far. And from that, you can find out, yes, this is the list. And from that list, you have to find out your original topic. So this is a way to, you know, uh, search the duplication. And, uh, and how about the... Yeah, one question, um, sir. Yes, I'll, I'm coming to the question. Just let me end my presentation. So this is the wider way of uh, finding it, uh, whether it is a uh, duplicate or original one. So this way we can find out. And uh, I think most of the contents that I wanted to tell you for choosing the topic are over. So very thank you very much. I'm coming back to the uh, home, home slide. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Hello. Yes, yes, just a minute, sir. Yes. Ah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this is from my side. I hope you guys have understood whatever I wanted to uh, tell about choosing and analyzing the topic. Now, uh, it is open for your questions. You can write your questions in chat box also, or you can directly unmute and ask your questions. Yes, yeah, sir. This is Sanjay. So I just wanted to ask you one question. May not be very yeah. appropriate on the first day itself, but then it's yeah. very unique and very uh, interest, uh, very important for me. 
like uh, we have the uh, phd curriculum which is starting from uh, 24 months onwards right yeah. so i would like to know from you maybe on the last day maybe on the personal visit that how to complete your uh, phd in appropriate time let's say 24 months say, say to 30 months without making yeah. any compromises on data primary data or secondary data or any methodology okay uh, sir question is very interesting and you don't to complete your phd in a stipulated time you should be a little bit planned about your you know selection of topic about your <laughs> there should be a road map about research i request you uh, i request all the participants to mute, um, mute themselves whenever they want to ask some questions they can unmute themselves so sir sanjay sir uh, no doubt yeah. we should have a plan of this you know mind if we okay. want to complete in 36 minutes sir now there is uh, uh, rohit sir rohit sir rohit sir rohit sir please mute yourself please dinai sir rohit sir allah jitna mukta i'll make him okay okay so sanjay sir if we yes, make sir. plan definitely we will get a success so okay. my suggestion is that whenever your topic is finalized by the committee mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then make a plan in this particular 6 okay. months i have to go for first two topics for example in right, the, the literature review then next two months i have to go for rm then okay. uh, in uh, third six months i have to make a questionnaire and mm-hmm. when the question questionnaire is you know finalized or prepared then you have to collect the data and once the data is collected you have to analyze the data in the proper way okay. so the plan should be there in the mind then only mm-hmm. you can complete your uh, phd thesis in 36 months okay sir that is not there sir i have seen uh, so many people they couldn't complete their phd in three years also right right for example so you should be planned once the topic is finalized thank you very much sir thank I you hope you are satisfied with my answer yeah yeah definitely sir uh, any more question if you want to ask you can ask your no, question in chat box also no uh, this is rupali hello ma'am I- Uh, yes i just want to know about the topic duplication like you said you can use university news magazine or shodh ganga so yes. there you can see the published this, this topic fine but i just want to know is there any way to check out the ongoing research topics because whichever topic i'll choose it may possible like someone or some other person is also working on the same so is there any way to check it out Yes, madam. Correct. Your question is uh, fine, no doubt at all. Uh, it is very difficult to find out ongoing uh, research topics. So for that, uh, uh, you do one thing. Uh, if you are doing your PhD from University of Pune, for example, so you can check it out from University of Pune for ongoing topics because ongoing topics are also registered. See, remember, ongoing topics are also registered, but those are not available in University News and uh, Shodh Ganga. So if you want to find out. Well, you see and if you want to find out whether uh, it is uh, means your topic is original or not if your uh, for example if your topic is matching with those topics or not then you just go to uh, you know that particular university or concerned university and uh, there you can find out whether those topics are ongoing topics or not see in every academic section of university they have a list of ongoing topics also and they provide you the list of those topics for verification no issue madam they so provide personally, you personally only i have to uh, visit that particular department in yes, academic, academic section yes. academic section of the university they will provide the list of topics department wise list of topics they will provide subject wise subject wise okay subject wise they will provide yes yes madam okay, okay. so sir sir i have two questions yes sir. the first is like uh, if i am planning some research paper along with some uh, university professor Okay. and then uh, can be can it be possible that uh, thesis phd thesis would be the extension of that research paper yes sir yes sir this is can possible. be done yeah. can yes can be done. okay and uh, i think uh, in past people used to go for mphil okay. and extend same topic for phd also we have right. some kind of examples also okay. but nowadays mphil is removed from the you know academics okay now i have another question like uh, i am going to face the interview committee Yeah. and uh, i would like to have at least two uh, two or three uh, topics of uh, no, one is enough one is enough is enough na yes one is okay. enough but complete but complete remember okay 
I would like to have at least two topics complete so that it should not be any by ambiguity or something. It means you are confused with those two topics. Okay. Go with one which should be appropriate and okay. it should create impact in the mind of interviewer. That is right. important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, this is Rohit. Uh, so yes, uh, yes. I have a question. You know, I was uh, a little confused with the research proposal and the research mm -hmm. synopsis. So are they same or uh, both are different? The research synopsis and research proposal both are completely different. Proposal uh -huh. we call it as a proposal which will be submitted at the beginning of the PhD. Proposal uh -huh. they accept you and they will ask you to go for the PhD if they like. Synopsis will be submitted at the time of pre-submission once you complete your entire thesis, remember. Once you complete your entire research, you have to submit the synopsis. Remember, there are three stages. Remember, see, at the beginning, once you want to get your topic approved from the RR committee, RR means what? Research and Recognition Committee, which is the university. Basically, we proposal a proposal, we send it to approval. Ke liye. So the things that we sent for the approval from RR committee is called as proposal. Okay. Uh -huh. Or uh, next is what uh, you said synopsis. Synopsis means what? Once you, once you complete your complete entire research, you go for pre viva submission. Pre submission viva. Okay. Once okay. that pre submission viva is taken place, it is called as synopsis. And when you go to submit your entire thesis, that time you have to submit your abstract. So three different things are there: proposal, synopsis, and abstract. So, uh -huh. proposal as a sure, uh, for Please, please. Sorry to cut you here. Sorry, sir. Uh, please, sir, please. sir. So, in our interview, so do we need to present a research synopsis, or we just need research. to uh, prep? Okay, beautiful for question. this inter Beautiful question. I think uh, today only somebody asked me this question: whether to whether there is a presentation of uh, our proposal or not. So, there is no presentation as such. You need to just carry your proposal at the time of interview, and you have to hand over that proposal to the committee members. They will go through. I think you have to uh, take two, three copies of your proposal. And uh, for example, there are three members in the committee. So they, those three members will go through your proposal. And they see each and every part of your proposal. Remember, uh, what topic you have chosen, how you have written your statement of problem, how you have constructed your objectives, hypothesis, then what methodology you have used for conducting the research. So there is no presentation as such, but they will go keenly they will have keen observation about your proposal, remember. So, 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 so we need to prepare a proposal for this interview? Correct, correct, that's it. This is what this workshop okay, is. Okay. This is what this workshop is meant for. Yeah, sir, I have oh, a yes, question yes. regarding the procedure of uh, like uh, taking the interviews. Like, for example, in website of Pune University, they have written that marketing management in Pune University, Pumba, they have the two, around eight seats. Okay. And the next amendment later, they have given there is absolutely no seats in the marketing management in Pumba in, uh, department. Okay. So I think uh, they have verified the data and uh, they have realized that there is no seat. But in other centers, seats are available. Sir. So, in so that if, case, if uh -huh. you have applied for Pumba and okay. if seats are not available, you can shift your uh, center. Achha, they will allow us to shift, na? Yes, yes. You have that right to change from uh, one center to another center. Another center. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, one more thing. Like, there are a lot of questions. Like, a lot of suggestion is coming down. Like, yes. I need to meet the guide before uh, the actual interview, and uh, you know, I have to talk to him and uh, getting uh, uh, acquainted with him, his thought process, his research area. Is it important, like? Sorry, sir. Please repeat. I didn't understand. Yes, yeah, sir. Somebody has told me that uh, I need to meet the first guide. Before no, even no. the interview, and I need to get acquainted with them in order to find out their research area and you know. Sir, uh, official procedure doesn't say that. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. So it doesn't matter if you are having uh, somebody as a friend, uh, your friend as a guide, you can contact them. Okay, okay. Yeah. But official procedure is not uh, like this. Okay. And uh, you know, even uh, uh, guides are allotted on the basis of your performance at the time of interview. Intervals, right? Thank Already you. Already have cleared two steps. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, please. 
I am Basuraj. Yes, please. I have, have Basuraj. I have one. I have one question. Yeah. In the in the PhD process, uh, they said uh, you have to submit synopsis uh, like uh, eight to six to eight uh, pages synopsis. Yeah. Uh, and for interview. See, remember, uh, there is no limitation of pages for PhD proposal uh, research proposal. uh but there is one condition also and condition is what uh all the points which they are expecting from your proposal should be there i'm going to show you the points which are expecting in the phd research proposal i'm having those points because as i told you i work on this already i have worked on this and i was the part of uh, interview panel also fine so notice uh in okay. upcoming lectures i will show you the contents that they expect in the research proposal don't worry I have seen earlier the video video guidance about to get into into the book. Okay. Uh, see the guide about the process of interview. In that uh, they the pro process is uh, you have to submit uh, six to eight pages about uh, all the process and uh, research methods. It, it may be twelve pages also. It may be twelve pages also. But all those points should be there and correctly mentioned. But it is the uh, more pages, top four pages does not matter at all. It is a topic plus a synopsis. No, you have to submit on in the interview. Synopsis. Sorry, proposal. Proposal. Okay. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, okay. Ah, Vinayak Nimman. Ah, sorry, Vinayak Nimman, not Vinayak Nimman. Ah, there are some questions in the chat box. I'm going to read those questions so that ah uh, we can have get acquainted with other questions also. Okay. Ah, uh huh. What should be the ideal time to complete the research? The ideal time to complete the research, according to the UGC guidelines, is thirty-six months. You have to complete your research in thirty-six months, anyhow, and that is the ideal time. And if you complete in thirty-six months, you will have that another, you know, joy of completing as. as in given time then will you ex please explain validity of pet examination validity of pet examination is for one attempt only once you uh, go for the interview and whatever is your result after that uh, the result is not valid at all for an examination only and that is for this examination can you suggest the name of books for what shubham sir i think shubham is that shubham sir is that uh you ask this question can you suggest the name of books for what i want to know for what uh, for what you want some books shubham sir are you there can you hear me shubham sir uh i request you all not to leave the meeting before i end because there are some questions which are asked by the participants those are important for you guys also and then nimman uh, sir has asked one question what a what a chance for good committee to steal your topic uh ha huh, there may be a possibility of uh, having this if you are working in a team or committee they may get your topic they may get an idea but uh, in this case you should be very much honest with yourself <coughs> that is a possibility hello. no doubt hello sir yeah hello ha uh, i have a question uh, regarding uh, phd Yeah. Uh, hello. The, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, because I am busy in shop, uh, so there is uh, two method to after admission, the regular or part time, part time. So yes. I want to know part part time. How, what is the process for part time PhD? Sir, uh, there is no part time PhD as such, and uh, there is no college as such to attend. Remember, once you uh, get your admission. that is full time phd you can do your work by sitting in the shop also but for data collection for uh, you know uh, getting uh, <coughs> you have to go for field visits or field work for example if your topics are related to bank then if you want to collect your primary data you have to visit banks so that is up to you but there is no provision of part time phd as such it is always full time but there is no need to go and attend the classes as such okay 
so oh, i can manage my work with a phd also you can manage you can manage sir no you can manage the phd okay. and in the regular there will, there will be we lectures uh, taken by teachers or uh, guidance no, or no. This, see this is not a like uh, this is not a college as such you have to do your own aapko guide se guide karte rahe रिसर्च So that is compulsory of one uh, twenty hours. But there is uh, not a college as such to attend and uh, be present for that. So remember, remove that thought by managing your shop. You can go for it. <coughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, then. Uh, Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, hi, sir uh, Rohit. Hello, Rohit. Uh, I have. Oh. Big, uh, uh, interview. Do we need to visit the center for what? for any like I I was not sure but uh, whether Can we center to not visit, or not not visit, not visit uh -huh. at all. There is no need to visit the center before your interview. If you want to get some or uh, you know query, if you have some doubts and queries, then you can visit. No, I, not at this time. But just I want. I was curious to know. So to that, sir. Not not necessary to visit. Sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, Vijay, sir, what a chance for good. That is uh, already we have been seen. Then uh, okay, good. Thank you, sir. Whether the interview will be online or offline, is it depend on the center? So see, a uh, good question. Uh, whether to uh, means whether university is conducting interviews online or offline, that situation will decide. Uh, nowadays, no doubt we are in pandemic. If it is over, definitely they will uh, call offline interviews. If it is increased, now people are th uh, talking about third layer. If it is there, for example, unfortunately, then it will be offline. But uh, it is up to the center whether to conduct online or offline. They may. Conduct offering also by following uh, public norms. So it is up to the center, and still it is not decided because the university is also not decided this. So let us see what will happen. Can we? Yes, thank can, you. Can we shift the center? Yes, we can shift the center. We can change the center. So there is one notification. There is one chance which will be given to you guys to change the center. You can change from one center to another center. That is correct. And the subject. Uh, subject we cannot change. Sorry, okay. subject okay. we cannot change. This one is the limitation. Once you have taken HRM, once you have taken financial management, we cannot change it. There is no Sir, my hmm? uh, I completed my MBA finance. Okay. Uh, there is a subject uh, in MBA banking and finance. I can take that, na? You can take it, but once you have taken banking and finance, you have you have to go with banking and finance. You cannot go for financial management like that. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, Shubham. Yeah. I am Basuraj. Yes, Basuraj. Yeah. I have a question uh, regarding the fees. Uh, what will be the fees if we take admission for PhD for fees. one year? Okay, you are talking about fees. You are talking about fees, na? Huh? Ah. Okay. See, fees are differ from center to center. Remember one thing. Fees are differ from center to center. If you are getting into university center, which are located in university only, so in those centers, uh, when it comes to University of Pune, uh, that is uh, you know six thousand to ten thousand in this particular range. And when you get in colleges research center, for example, uh, if you take an example of SP College Pune, if it is there in SP College, so depend upon the college, and uh, colleges are charging fifteen thousand to twenty thousand per year. Thanks. Okay, welcome. Then Shubham, uh, how will we uh, come to know about vacancy in the center? Already vacancies are declared by the university earlier. Go through the vacancies and uh, name the guides. 
and accordingly uh, you can get some idea about it okay next one is i think uh, most of the questions are over i request you all to ask your questions if it is there uh, sir this is uh... Sir, this is Dipti. I would like to know that uh, does this interview being conducted by the same panel where we have selected the center, or there will be some another different panel? No, panel will be different. See, there is one notification which will be issued for the um, panel centers. They have to make a committee, which is called as research committee or research panel. And that panel will be there for your interview, and that panel will be or uh, decided by taking people from different and diverse background it is not uh, like that they should uh, take their own employees a own staff only for this they can call other people also suppose uh, i am working with the uh, baramati college and uh, if uh, any pune center wants to go for panel so they can take me also that is up to the center but uh, panel members will be different from other colleges okay sir thank you <coughs> Yeah. Any more question? Sir, I have a question. Like, uh, yes, sir. there is an international de degree called DBA, Doctorate in Business Administration. Okay. Okay, which is equivalent to PhD, but uh, okay. UGC is not uh, given uh, the hundred percent, uh, you know, affiliation to that. But that is Thank very you. much, uh, uh, yeah, that is very much uh, uh, famous degree in case of applied uh, management. so is it possible for any student to do like uh, dba plus phd uh sir uh, for this i have to refer you gc notes first because i'm also not aware with this i will refer this and uh, i'll get to back to you tomorrow yeah because i know that do phd in the same ugc cannot be done in the same country correct that is I, that is i am aware but uh, yeah. dba is basically is a totally applied thing so i don't know like that <laughs> This is what I said. I have to refer this. Uh, okay. This to UGC guideline. Okay. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Yes. Sir. Any more questions, please? Uh, uh, hello, sir. Uh, sir, may I know the procedure for the change of center? Uh, sir, madam, uh, they will ask you to change. They will issue a notification regarding change in center. Okay. Very soon they will go for it. And for that, you will get a mail also. You will get a mail, or uh, you get you will get a SMS from university. and so that they will ask you to change the center hello uh, sir uh, can you uh, can you be able to share the details or the uh, like there is some proforma right in which we have to prepare the proposal yes, so correct. is it very possible soon. to share the same yes very soon i am going to share with you doesn't matter very soon matter yes okay and sir i like within that format only we have to do it or we can add few things into that no. in that format only in that format only you have to make your proposal otherwise okay. they will ask you to make necessary changes according to that format okay okay madam any more question that you want to ask hello I, ask sir i have a question yes yes please sir uh, uh, while making the pro pro proposal uh, we have to make it by uh, means own by means only you know Would be help of the internet or Google search the topic and what is the research done before. Sorry, sir, I am not getting your voice clearly. It is little bit breaking. Can you repeat the same? Ah, uh, for making the proposal, what is the sources we have to use uh, for making the proposal? See, basically, sources we expect uh, from libraries because in library we have you know uh, authentic data. if you refer online sources also those are also good no doubt but there is a question of authentication most of the things whatever we get on google and through wikipedia those are not authentic sources if you write the information for example statistical information uh, which is taken from uh, wikipedia no doubt that is not having enough authentication and if you want to write authentic information you need to go for authentic sources also but uh, if you write it from uh, Uh, google and uh, wikipedia those are also good but uh, again the question comes of authentication that is the only thing otherwise it is also good 
Uh, yes. Sir, I have one more question. Uh, like yes. basically, when we talk about the research, it means like identifying a specific problem area, and we are doing research on that. Okay. Right. So, like while uh, while doing the while going facing the interview, like we have to prepare the two different proposals, like considering two different problem areas, or we should focus on only one problem area. You have to focus on only one problem area, and there is no need to make two different proposals. You have to make only one. Is enough. See, at the time of interview, they go through your go through your proposal, and if they want to suggest something, they will suggest you also. Doesn't matter. But uh, carrying two proposals at the time of interview is not good. I think so. Okay, uh, but like that proposal will be the final proposal uh, for our further research, right? As good as as good as final proposal, but uh, if they feel there are certain changes are expected, then they will ask you to make some necessary changes. Okay, but only after they select us, right? Or they before select. selecting, only they might uh, ask us to make the changes. Correct, correct, correct. Madam, remember one thing. You all have to remember one thing. If you are perfect with the proposal, your selection is final. Remember one thing. This is my personal experience. If you go with your proposal. perfect proposal ultimate proposal your selection no one can deny remember koi bhi aapko deny nahi kar sakta because you have you are having enough you know uh, knowledge of research and they want people uh, they want knowledgeable people for research okay, okay sir thank you very much i think that's sufficient okay in upcoming uh, days of workshop i'm talking about uh, i'm going to talk about uh, a number of things like methodology sampling then techniques can be used for the research and all so definitely you will be able to make a perfect research proposal or uh, if not then i'll be there to guide you don't worry yes sir thank you very much okay so once again i request you all thank you sir thank you okay thank you very much uh, always welcome there is one thank more request to make uh, you all are requested not to leave the meeting till the end whether it is mind that you forget about it साढ़े नौ बजे बच जाएंगे तो मीटिंग मत करो क्योंकि कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे होते हैं जो हमारे दिमाग में नहीं आते मगर बाकी लोगों के दिमाग में आते हैं मुझे लगता है कि मैं आपको थोड़ा सा कुछ तो दे पाया आज थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल आफ्टर दिस सेशन ऑल्सो यू कैन आस्क मी यू कैन personally text me regarding your questions tomorrow also we are going to see uh, at uh, 7:30 sharp you guys have to join at 7:20 without fail and tomorrow we are going to learn about uh, how to write a statement of problem then uh, how to construct a statement which is the most important part, part of your question support with this i take a break i take I am here to say thank you very much. Thank you for to end the recording. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you.